Beach Kingdom cooking with KP and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to use up some more of my Mediterranean style corned beef. I'm going to make a corned beef hash. A really nice easy Sunday night's meal. Alright, really simple. Let's get on with it. First thing I've got is I'm using my teppanyaki plate. I would normally use the barbecue but the weather isn't right for that. A little bit of oil can go straight down on top of that uh, hot plate. So you can use either your barbecue, you could even use a nice big fry pan for this. But uh, this particular thing heats up really nice and hot, just like a barbecue would, and we can get some real flavors happening. So here I've got uh, an onion, which I've thinly sliced, just like that. Break those onions up, and we're just gonna grill those off. All right, we wanna get a little bit of caramelization, a little bit of color, like that. I'm gonna add in a little bit of uh, Chinese rice wine or a bit of Xiaojing wine gives onions an incredibly satisfying flavor, believe me. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir those around a little bit and it's gonna give us a real nice base flavor for this dish. All right, once they're done, we're gonna put those aside into another bowl. We're gonna do this in a couple of little stages. And if you have a, uh, a hot plate that is big enough to put all of these ingredients on, do so okay i'm just going to do this in stages i've got a couple of rashes of bacon which i've just roughly chopped and we're just going to cook those off just a little bit just to get the uh, the oil being released from the uh, the fat of the bacon and of course bacon fat always smells the best okay this is a nice inexpensive meal by the way won't cost you the earth at all okay so we're going to put that bacon straight on top of those uh, onions and We'll go to our next step. I've given that a quick wipe down, a little bit of butter, it straight on top of our uh, hot plate again, or my teppanyaki grill. And here I've got some potatoes that I've just uh, given a, a, a quick cook. They're not cooked all the way through, they're just cooked. And we're gonna put those on and give those a nice what for and give them a nice a little bit of a char and a roasting on top of the hot plate. And if you haven't tried doing potatoes on the barbecue before wow you don't know what you're missing they taste amazing just keep stirring those through until you get the color that you like right and i like a nice little golden color a little bit of char as you can see right there all right again i'm going to take those out and put those aside and get ready to make our final little bit of uh, cooking in this process a little bit of oil straight on top again just like that and here I've got some cabbage which I've uh, sort of given a bit of a, a fine slice to uh, a little bit like a, a slaw style and if you haven't seen my uh, uh, cabbage salad videos before well go have a look you can see how I make this uh, nice sort of almost a sauerkraut type deal this has got no flavorings at all we're just going to grill that off and let the uh, natural juices of the cabbage cook the vegetable itself. So we're just gonna stir that around a little bit and that will wilt down quite a bit and you'll end up with uh, a much reduced amount of cabbage than what you did have. I'm gonna add in our bacon and onions straight on top, just like that. And all we have to do is just keep stirring this through. And here I've got some slices of corned beef all right i've just sliced that straight off the uh, nice mediterranean corn beef recipe that i did i'm going to stir those around get the heat getting into it very very simple and this is like a, a one pan meal deal where you can just put everything all together as i said you can do it on the barbecue and you've got all your vegetable food groups all in one dish all right as is as i've said this is a uh, a corned beef hash and it's exactly what it is is you could almost call it a bubble and squeak if you like all we have to do now is serve that up any which way you want to if you want to add uh, a sauce or a mustard or whatever you could but it tastes absolutely amazing just as it is all right love to see you try and make this one at home it is quite simple and it's a great way to use up some leftovers thank you so much for watching this video I really do appreciate it if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too
Share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media. We're trying to get the name of KP's Kingdom out there. Hit that notifications bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. Please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. But in the meantime, I'm off to eat my uh, corn beef hash. And I will catch you next time.